Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Jason from Jadron Aquatics. As you can see uh, behind me, I've changed up a little bit uh, the way it looks before. It was just all black and I kind of got tired of that. So I switched it up a little bit. So you guys, please leave me a comment and tell me what you think about it, whether you love it or you hate it. Because uh, right now I don't know exactly how I feel about it. I just know I spent a lot of time doing it. But either way, so today what I want to talk to you guys about is a, uh, a drip system that I'm setting up that's a little bit probably different than what you've seen before. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking six 10 gallon tanks, I'm drilling each one of them, putting a bulkhead in them, and creating a overflow system for them so that it simply overflows into the current drain system that I have. And then I want to put a, uh, a drip system into each one of them so that I can use it strictly for fry grow out so that whenever I see a pregnant female that's really far along, I'll move her into the tank, let her have the fry, let her sit in there for a couple of days and move that the female out. The object is probably going to be to change about entire 100% of the 10 gallons every single day in each one of the tanks just to see how much better uh, fry growth that I can actually get out of it. So let's go ahead and head out to the garage and uh, you can see uh, the tanks drilled and see how I'm putting them together and see how we're putting the entire drip system together. Okay, so you can see here, um, I've got the uh, six 10 gallon tanks all prepared. Each one of them I've got drilled to I put a bulkhead in and I've got each one of them painted. So, uh, I won't, uh, I'm not actually going to show you guys exactly how to drill a tank. You guys have seen that and there's hundreds of videos on it, but I, I will offer you some, some, some tips. Um, first of all, if you notice here, um, it's best to drill up into one of the corners. Um, that way it has a lot more stability because the glass on a, on a 10 gallon, th again, this is based upon 10 gallon. It's a little bit different when you get into bigger tanks because the glass is so much thicker. But on the, on the 10 gallon tank, it's better to try to drill up, up in a corner. Um, that way there's less chance uh, of it cracking. And then uh, the other thing that I like to do is I like to, uh, I like to uh, take a board and uh, drill a hole through it here so that uh, you have a, a pilot hole to start it. Uh, that way you can kind of get it placed in the same place in the tank every single time. I uh, just take these clamps here and clamp it against the glass. And then the other thing is make sure that you keep it uh, irrigated with water the entire time. And the main thing is just don't put any pressure on it. Again, with the 10 gallon tanks, don't put any pressure on it. Just let the weight of the drill itself be the thing that actually passes it uh, all the way through. Uh, the glass. Um, I, I, I've done this before when I was doing salt water, so I haven't done one in a while. So my first attempt, um, I didn't take my advice very well. I put a little too much pressure on it and uh, I tried to drill to more, more towards the center of the tank. And as you can see right here, uh, it's split in about three different directions. So um, I destroyed that tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you can probably see on the other side, I practice on the other one and got that hole to go through good. Oh yeah, the other thing is too, uh, when you first get it started, you, uh, you go a little bit slow just for the first few seconds. And then once you get, the, uh, get it started, then uh, I, I get it on full speed. And I tried it with two different drills. I have a DeWalt uh, uh, battery pack one, a 20 volt, and uh, I used it and it works pretty good, but it's, it tends to get pretty hot after doing this many tanks. Um, so I went ahead and took an, an old electric drill that I had, and it seemed to work a whole lot better um, being able, uh, you know, sitting there holding that drill for so long and it seemed to hold its speed uh, better because that's just pulling so much on that battery the whole time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put a, a bulkhead on one of these so we can see exactly how that's done. Okay, so um, I have a, a couple of different bulkheads that I'm going to use. Uh, when I was doing salt water, I bought a whole bunch of PVC fittings from someone, so I got probably 40 or 50 different bulkheads. So some of the bulkhead fittings that I have are the, uh, these are just some three quarter inch that are uh, slip on this side and, and slip on this side. And then I have two or three of them that are three quarter also, but they're threaded. 
they're threaded on this side and they're also uh, threaded on this side. So I'll have to do, uh, do them a little bit different each time. So, um, so let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's unscrew this one. Okay, when you go in to put it in here, you have to remember to, you've got to keep the gasket on the, uh, the flange side. So we just simply slide it through the hole like this. Some people like to, uh, some people like to take a bead of uh, silicone and put it around the uh, inside. Uh, I'm not going to do it um, for now. Um, I'll go ahead and put all these on there and I'll leak test them if I find I'm having any kind of problems. I have a few of them that, that chipped a little bit. Um, I may go ahead and silicone those just to make sure, but for now I'm not going to worry about it. So you take it again, put the uh, gasket side on the same side as the flange, so on the inside, and then take the uh, then take the the nut there and screw it down. And uh, I, I've got a I've got a bulkhead wrench, um, but again, this 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 glass is so thin on ten gallon, I don't want to go too tight, so I'm probably just going to kind of hand tighten it not too far and uh, so there we go on that one and then um, what the plan is is I'm just going to use a, uh, a, a three-quarter inch uh, three-quarter inch elbow so this is the, this is the threaded one so if we're going to put it on on this bulkhead we just take this one um, of course we, we use a Teflon tape on there first and put Teflon tape around those threads and then thread it in there like this and then we'll just have that setting up and then um, the height that I put this thing at will basically keep the water um, just right in the middle here of the uh, black stripe. I, I hate when the water gets down below here because that it leaves all that gunk and stuff all over the tank and just puts that dirty ring all around it. Whereas if it's at the black, you, you can't see it. So this, uh, that it'll, it'll set just about, about that high. Um, there where you can actually see it, it'll it'll set probably about that high and then I think what I'm probably going to do is put some type of uh, small sponge or something over the top of it um, to keep fry from overflowing into it um, but also try to keep it so that it doesn't get so um, full of plant matter and whatever else that it gets clogged and this thing can't can't overflow so uh, let's go ahead and, and put uh, these bulkheads on all of these and uh, go ahead and put the uh, the uh, elbows onto each one of them and uh, get them kind of semi set up and uh, fill them with water and uh, make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, work on putting the uh, drip system together. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna use uh, the quarter inch uh, poly tube. This is the same stuff like you use in uh, your, uh, your refrigerator for your water lines and your uh, for the ice maker and then these are some quarter inch connections uh, these are the uh, on off valves so I can control what the flow is on each one um, and these are some T fittings and L fittings and some other things that I'll need to uh, get it all going correctly alright so first of all so the reason I'm using this poly stuff is because this is going to be the one that goes into the tank. I, I, I want it to go all the way down to the bottom so that when it uh, when it's being pushed through, uh, it'll push through to the bottom. Um, my fear has always been on uh, drip systems. If it's just dripping at the top and your overflow is right there at the top, that the majority of your water that you're dripping into the tank is going over the overflow. So this theory is we're going to try to put it down into the bottom of the tank. So if we've got it in this tank over here we've got it in the back this piece will go all the way down to the bottom of the tank and be dripping at the bottom i thought about taking some dye and running some tests but man i'm way too lazy for that <laughs> not to mention i'd have to clean the whole mess up so we're just going to run it like this and try it and and see how it works all right, so you can uh, kind of get an idea what we're doing here um, i've got two of them hooked together so far here you can see this is going to be the end one here because it's got just the L and again it's got the uh, valve here 
and then another connector with a uh, Y that's going to have the rest of them on it with another uh, valve controller. And so this will set back in the back. It's trying to curl on me right now. But it'll set back in the back of each one of them like that and, and go in there and then be connected down there on the end. So let's go ahead and uh, get all six of them hooked up and get it uh, put down into these tanks. All right, so you can see we got it hooked up here. Um, we've got each one of these hooked up and in the tank. That one's kind of curling and um, needs to be straightened out some. That one. Sorry, I'm up against a wall here, so I, I don't have very much space at all. That one and that one. So we've got all six of them hooked up now. So now we just, uh, oh, <clears throat> these, far, these far right two tanks right here, these are both cycled. So those are gonna be the two that I'm gonna be kind of playing around with, trying to get the, uh, the drip just right. But uh, we're gonna be using something that probably hasn't been used in the aquarium hobby before that I, at least that I know of, because what I'm using is not designed for the aquarium hobby. So you guys seen some of my previous videos, I used to have chameleons. Well, one of the, the main thing that you need for chameleons is a misting system because they have to have constant, uh, mi not constant mist, but they have to have mist occasionally because that's how they drink is from when the water gets on them. So um, I still have a mist king left over. So that's what this device is right here. Here. So we're back in the corner so it's a little bit dark. So this thing you set up on a timer and it's just a, uh, a standard uh, pump and uh, again it works off of this same um, quarter inch uh, uh, water tubing. You can see that one right there goes right into this first one and then this this one right here, this is where it sucks the water from. So this one goes down and right now, we're just gonna use this five gallon bucket that I used to use. Cause you can see that I've still got the, uh, the attachment that goes on it. So this obviously five gallon bucket is not gonna work because I'm gonna be changing more than five gallons of water a day. So um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna hook up, whether I'm gonna hook up another trash can or go buy some bigger type tub. I'm basically making this up as I go along. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get this bad boy hooked up. We're gonna get it put onto a uh, timer, get it hooked up into the uh, five gallon bucket and begin to try it out and see how well it works. So I got it all set up, I uh, got it tested. Uh, everything seems to be working great. I'm having a little bit of trouble due to the fact that I've got the, uh, the drip system already in each one of them that I can't really tell when I have one turned up and another one turned up, how much water each one's actually getting. Because I think if I turn the first one up that's closest, and then the farthest one on, I think the first one's always gonna get more just because of the pressure. So I'm having a little bit of a difficult time right now knowing exactly how much water is being uh, put into each tank, but uh, I'll figure that out a little bit later. But as far as uh, just working, it seems to work great. If you guys have any uh, ideas on how I can make this better, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I appreciate you taking the time to subscribe. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and God bless.